In this video, I am going to explain two more uh, problems very important in the calculation of shearing bridge unknown components. So in this, in this problem, I am going to explain the calculation of unknown capacitance which you have already seen. Along with that, we are also going to calculate the angle of bushing. So the angle of bushing also we are going to calculate which is indicated by delta. Okay. And now one more thing you need to observe here. I am taking the same shearing bridge pattern whatever I have explained in the first class of the shearing bridge. The same, the same shearing bridge I have taken for any number of problems. But the node points are varying depending upon the question. Okay. Now in this problem see the first line. The condenser bushing forms which is nothing but unknown part. Unknown part is connected in the BC part. Unknown part is connected. Unknown part is nothing but this one from here to here. So I am taking this as BC and this one is A and this one is D. You cannot randomly give the nodes. Either you have to follow in the anti-clockwise direction or in the clockwise direction. So if you see here it is in the anti-clockwise direction. So A, B, C, D. And you have to examine whether the remaining arms are satisfying this or not. So A, B is having a negligible loss of the capacitance of 500. AB is having 500 picofarads and CD is having a resistance of 300 ohms and one more arm is having a parallel capacitance like a 0.1 microfarad in parallel with the resistance 100 ohms. Okay. Now you are asked to calculate the capacitance value on this angle. So frequency is given that is about 50 H and we know the formula for this CX is equal to what is the value of C? What is the formula for the CX? We know R1 C3 by R2. R1 C3 by R2. So substitute the values. R1 is nothing but 100 ohms into what is the value of C3? 500 pico divided by R2. R2 is nothing but 300 ohms. So 500 by 3 it is approximately 166 pico farads. This is the value of unknown capacitance Cx. Okay, now another question was asked is dielectric loss of angle. Okay, we know the dissipation factor which is omega Rx into Cx. Omega Rx into Cx. Uh, okay, here omega R1 into C1 also you can write. Omega R1 into C1. If you substitute Rx and Cx, then you will get Omega R1 C1, of course. Now, the dielectric loss of angle, dielectric loss of angle is given by tan delta is equal to Omega R1 C1. Tan delta is equal to Omega R1 c1 so we know what is omega 2 pi f into r1 into c1 so substitute the values 2 pi into what is f f is nothing but 50 and what is r1 100 into what is c1 0 0.1 micro farad into 10 power minus 6 so if you simplify this you will get 0 0.0314 there is equal to tan delta. So delta is equal to tan verse of 0 0.0314 which is equal to 1.8 degrees. If you simplify this tan verse of this one you will get delta is equal to 1.8 degrees. Now this is the angle dielectric loss of angle of the bushing. So in this way you have to do the calculation of angle problems. So one more problem I have taken into consideration which is asked to calculate the capacitance value, power factor value and also you are asked to calculate the relative permittivity of the sheet. Relative permittivity of the sheet. So how to do that relative permittivity? Relative permittivity is nothing but epsilon r. Okay, you know two parameters are there. Uh, unknown capacitance let it be the capacitance C is equal to epsilon A by D. Epsilon A by D. D thickness is also given here. So if you see the problem, all these parameters are given. A sheet of 4.5 millimeter thickness 
is tested at 50 h frequency is given between 12 centimeters in diameter what he has given 12 centimeters in diameter how to calculate the area now area is equal to pi r square pi d square by 4 you can also write like this pi into r is nothing but here 12 centimeters is given as diameter so it is 6 into 10 power in, if you yeah, I'll convert all these parameters into meters minus 2 whole square this is the area now if you elaborate this epsilon a it is having internally two parameters epsilon naught epsilon r divided by t a by d okay now you are asked to calculate this value epsilon r okay now let us see what are the given values and how to do this problem the shearing ridge uses a standard air capacitor c2 is equal to 105 picofarads and a non-reactive R4, R4 is equal to pi by 4. Here he has taken this R mass first term, R1, C1, okay, and this is the second arm, C2, and this is the third arm, R3, and these are the four, uh, fourth arm, R4 and C4, okay. Shearing bridge uses a capacitance of C2 is value is given, it is, it is around 105 picofarads, a non-reactive R4 of 1000 picofarads, this one is equal to 1000 by pi. In parallel with a variable capacitor, in parallel with a variable capacitor and is obtained by C4 is equal to 0 0.5 microfarad, the same for value we have taken here also. So R3 is equal to, which is around 260. 260 ohms calculate the capacitance and peak factor so what is the value of capacitor c1 c1 here it is the unknown value or you can also write cx so what is the formula of cx simply we know r1 by r2 into c3 so r1 by r2 into here it is nothing but r4 into c2 by r3 the same formula just depending upon the resistor values and capacitor values depending on the notations here I have changed the numbers. So that is equal to what is R4 value 1000 by pi? 1000 by pi into what is C2 here? C2 is nothing but 105 picofarads divided by R3 is nothing but 260 ohms. 260 ohms. Okay. So, if you substitute and uh, after substitution and calculation of this one, you will get 128.7 picofarads. Okay, this is the value of C1. Next, this is the first solution and the second solution is you are asked to calculate the peak power, sorry, power factor. So, power factor is equal to already we know omega R1. C1 or simply in our uh, notation it is R4 C4. So omega R4 C4 2 pi into what is F here? F how much it is given? 50 H. 50 into R4 1000 by pi into C4 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 6 micro. Okay. So if you simplify this you will get 0 0.05 0 0.05 as a factor of the dissipation factor or you can also call it as power factor now you are going to calculate the third parameter which is the relative permittivity epsilon r epsilon r so take this same formula now for which capacitor you are calculating the unknown capacitance c1 only Okay, so take C1 as epsilon A by D that is equal to epsilon R epsilon naught A by D. So what we need epsilon R is equal to C1 into D by epsilon naught into A and we know A is equal to pi into R square I already told you 
pi into 6 into 10 power minus 2 meters whole square. Okay, substitute all these here. That is equal to what is the value of C1? We have got 128.7 into 10 power minus 12. I think we have got in pico farads into D. D is nothing but thickness. How much is the thickness given? Thickness is 4.5. See the first line 4.5 millimeters. So 4.5 into milli meters. So convert this into meters row. Write in terms of meters. So milli means 10 power minus 3 into meters divided by epsilon naught. What is the free space? Epsilon naught is nothing but free space permittivity. Epsilon naught is free space permittivity. And whose value is 8.85 into 10 power minus 12. Okay, substitute the same value 8.85 into 10 power minus 12 into A. A already we have calculated this. A is in terms of meter square. So 10 power minus 2 whole square. So if you simplify this, you will get the value 5.87. Sorry, 5.78. This is relative permittivity of this sheet. Okay. So, in this way, these different types of questions may also come in the examination like calculation of angle. Uh, what is that angle? Calculation of loss of angle, dielectric loss of angle and calculation of this uh, relative permittivity or area or uh, diameter, anything you are going to be asked. One thing you need to take care of is uh, designing the circuit. Circuit parameters you need to choose very carefully. You no need to, if you change the circuit uh, components, it will be again, uh, suppose instead of uh, taking C2, uh, you have taken C4, then again the values will be def different. Okay. So that's why you must be very cautious when you are taking the values and substituting in the formula. Okay. Thank you.